Hey, it's Brian G. Johnson from Marketing Easy Street, and today I'm really excited to share some great information that I personally have used to earn hundreds of thousands of dollars, and it's all about branding. And let me tell you, this is something I messed up with for a long time. I wasn't really concerned with a brand 10 years ago, and I'm talking a long time ago, when I was doing some very old school search engine optimization. At the time, my goal was to simply drive traffic to my website to a merchant site and they would go ahead and they would instill trust with the visitor they would sell the visitor and i would earn a commission so all i was after was traffic i was lo looking at keyword based domain names and i wasn't worried about establishing credibility in fact people didn't know who the heck i was i had a simple dracula costume website or a website based on web hosting and again i just sent that traffic now in 2008, I started creating my own products and I started thinking more about, you gotta get it out in front of the people, you need to build yourself in the, uh, in the marketplace, right? You need to establish a brand and a, an identity. You need to have a unique selling position. All the things that you hear about that are really important. That's what I started focusing on in 2008. And it took me a long time, you know, it took me several years to really start creating some brand name products that built credibility, that helped consumers understand what I was selling and ultimately led to more sales. Now, we're gonna talk a bit about this very subject right now, and I wanna make sure that when you're done watching this, you've got a strategy, a simple method you can use to create great brands, and you'll be able to use this method to find amazing .com addresses. In fact, I just registered blogrankster.com, a pretty amazing blog, cost me eight or nine bucks using this method. So one of the things we wanna think about when you're selling your own product online, it's, it is imperative that your customers, your visitors understand exactly what it is you're offering. And your brand, your product should have a unique selling position. What's in it for the customer? What are they gonna benefit from by using your product? How does your product uh, differentiate itself from the competition? These are all things that you need to know and understand before moving forward. And I, I've launched products myself where I kind of understood the answer to those questions and I kind of got okay results. And when I hit the nail on the head, when I knew exactly what I was selling, I was able to convey that to the customer and I really increased my sales. So how do we do it? What do we do? Well, first, this is called the anchor method. And the anchor method is based on ultimately combining two words together to be able to create a brand name that people in your marketplace easily identify with right away. That's the first anchor, and we're gonna call it an identifiable anchor, an identity anchor. And the second part, the second anchor, is based on a benefit. Now, how many times have you heard, yeah, benefits, benefits? It's really important. It's not about building links. It's about all the traffic they're gonna get. It's about the money they're gonna make. And you need to understand what benefit is your brand or product gonna to bring to the table for the end user. So here's how this method works. What we're gonna do is you're gonna, again, start off with two words, an identifiable anchor and a benefit anchor. Push button SEO is a great example. This was a product I launched and the identifiable anchor is SEO. People that are interested in driving more traffic, people that are interested in SEO, they know within a split second exactly what this product is about. It's got SEO in it. That's the identifiable anchor. And the benefit anchor is push button simplicity. The product uh, comes or I should say the brand name comes built in with its own benefit and unique selling position. You're gonna be able to optimize your uh, website in a push button manner quickly and easily. It's gonna save you tons of time and that's what push button was all about. Now, let's talk about another brand I established and I was able to pick up another amazing domain name and this is probably one of the best domains I've ever registered in the last few years and it cost me less than $10. So when you use this method, you can register powerful, amazing .com addresses 
for 10 bucks or less. And that is DomainCheapsters.com. So what was the identifiable anchor in this case? Well, it was domain. This is a, a product where I'm selling domains and hosting to uh, customers. And the benefit that those people that associate with my brand, that use my brand, that use Domain Cheapsters, well, they get great services, great uh, domain names, hosting, and more cheap. Now, with that, I created a list of all potential anchors, right? The identifiable anchor and the benefit anchor. So again, you're going to want to create two lists for your identifiable anchor and your benefit anchor. I should say one list for each. Identify, benefit. Sit down, look at the brand you're going to create, the product you're going to create, and think about singular words that anybody that is already in your market or is interested in getting in your market would instantly identify with quickly and easily. So for me with Domain Cheapsters, it was domains, hosting, domain name, name, URL, address. So I wrote all those down and then I thought, well, what's the benefit? What's in it for anybody that becomes a customer of Domain Cheapsters? And I thought, discount cheap, et cetera, et cetera. And I took these lists and then what I do is I merge them together and I look for an available .com. Go with a .com. It's 2014. Don't get a .org or a .net. When you launch your brand, go with the most trusted a, a domain extension available, and that's a .com. So I went and I checked, and hey, is cheap domain available? <laughs> of course not. Uh, how about um, domain cheap? Well, it doesn't sound that great, but of course it's not available either. And that's where you can use suffixes, right? Think about adding something like LR to the name of a word or LY. How about blog? Let's say you're going to create a plugin for a blog, right? How about blogly? That's simply by adding the word or the suffix LY to the end of blog, you're going to be able to come up with a great potential brand name that again includes identifier and a benefit that people are going to understand. And that's exactly what I did with domain cheapsters. I took the word cheap. I said, well, how about cheap? No, uh, cheapster. Domain cheapster. Yeah, that's what, perfect. It was taken. So then I went and I thought, okay, you can always uh, add a plural, right? You can take the word and, and come up with the plural version. And I came up with domain cheapsters. It was available. A hell of a a domain registration. It was actually used years ago and I was able to grab it for eight or nine bucks. So again, hey, Brian G. Johnson, I'm excited for you to be on this new site that E. Brian Rose launched. And let me know what you think about this method, the anchor method that you can use to create brand names below. Just leave me a comment. I'll make sure to get back with you. I'll see you soon. Brian G. Johnson and stay golden.